Amy Roloff is moving closer and closer to her big day. As the Little People Big World star gets ready to marry Chris Merrick, however, she has some big news to share. Ex-husband Matt Roloff will not be a part of the ceremony or the reception. He has not been invited, neither of course has Matt's girlfriend Karen Chandler. Chris and I debated whether to invite Matt and Karen to the wedding, but we decided against it. Amy said in a sneak peek at this Tuesday's season finale of the aforementioned reality show. The sneak peek was uploaded by People magazine and the mother of four continued in the footage. I think it causes less drama and I think that's better for everyone. In a vacuum, of course, not including one's ex-husband as part of one's wedding audience would be an obvious conclusion to reach. However, Amy and Chris are getting married on Matt's farm. Moreover, they spend a great deal of time with Matt and Karen, having just recently completed filming on the most recent Little People Big World season. Chris and Matt actually get along better than Amy would like a lot of time, a subject she addressed on an episode this summer. In a confessional, meanwhile, Chris further explained the basis for not inviting Matt and Karen to the August 28th nuptials. Initially, when Matt offered us the farm, I thought it was just a given that we invite him and Karen to join us if they'd like to, you know, no obligation, he says on air. But then I saw where it could be awkward for some people that were going to be at the wedding and especially maybe for Amy. Remember, Amy has claimed that Matt cheated on her with Karen back in the day, at least in the emotional sense. We had someone that worked for us for a very long time on our farm, Amy said two years ago, clearly referencing Karen, who served as the then couple's farm manager. And I believe, this is all from my perspective, that there was more than just friends going on, she added. And I think that evolved to a point where that got in the way of our marriage as well. Amy and Matt were married for almost 30 years, from 1987 to 2016. They shared three sons and a daughter. According to Merrick, though, Matt completely understands the decision. Says Chris on the finale. We had a conversation and he goes, are you going to be offended if we don't invite you to the wedding? I said absolutely not, let's just take it off the table, make it simple. Also remember, Karen once scoffed at the notion of attending Amy's wedding. A surprising amount of this upcoming finale will focus on Chris and Matt sitting around together, walking the farm and acting like total BFFs. Despite not being in attendance, for example, I'm going to be going to the honeymoon, Matt jokes at one point. Chris cracks up in laughter. Merrick later jokes about Matt getting engaged to Karen in the near future, saying in front of his fiancée's ex. Having the wedding on the farm, it's making the big day a little easier for me because I'll be on familiar ground. Very familiar ground. You know, and who knows, maybe we'll come up with some great ideas for you and Karen for the following year. As for where Matt and Karen will be on August 28th, they are more than pleased to not be going to the wedding and plan to go to Arizona for a romantic break where they have a vacation home, an insider tells The Sun. They got Amy and Chris a little gift to show their appreciation as they're on much better terms, but they're glad they won't be attending, it would be too weird for everyone. Matt and Karen just want them to be able to do their own thing and feel it will be over before they know it. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.